It is a beautiful night in Boise. <laughs> and I'm, I'm finding my way into Ann Morrison Park. And you know what? I don't know in nearly two years that I've been in uh, the Boise area. I don't know if I've actually uh, been to this park before. And tonight is an annual event. It's a, uh, it's a rather popular annual event. It's the Hot Air Balloon Festival. Look at this tree right here. Look at that beautiful tree. Well, I remember when I was a little kid, we used to always go up and climb different trees. But uh, it is really a beautiful night and there is supposed to be some hot air balloons around here somewhere. We will uh, we will see. But this must be the I would imagine this must be the the snake uh, no the Boise River. I think this would be the Boise River. And this is a popular spot where people will come and put in uh, paddle boards or different flotation devices. Every year they'll ask you if you have you floated the Boise. So I'll take a uh, walk right down here. Not sure where the balloons are. Maybe the uh, maybe the balloons are just up in the direction that these folks are walking here. But uh, let's take a look at the river. Will you look at that? So some people will come down and they'll they'll paddleboard this river. A good friend of mine the other day was telling me that he's done it numerous times this uh, numerous times this summer. So everybody's walking down that way, which would lead me to believe that's where we will ultimately find the uh, the balloons. But I'll take you for a walk right over here where they've got apparently I, they've got live music. There's a lot of people just hanging out over here on the on the lawn and there be quite a few food trucks where you could grab yourself a uh, grab yourself a bite to eat oh it's beautiful the weather today is just beautiful we're starting to see a change in the weather where we had a prolonged period of warm days into the 90s low hundreds no humidity mind you but it was still, uh, still rather warm. So you see quite a few bikes here. Just gonna take a walk through. This is the Green Acres food truck park. Maybe I can find myself a. Uh, Somebody's gonna hurt someone before the night is through. Somebody's gonna come undone. There's nothing we can do Everybody wants to touch somebody If it takes all night Everybody wants to take a chance What a fun crowd
found my way back onto the the green belt that's what they call it they call it the the boise the boise river green belt so it's quite a quite a beautiful path that's used by people that come and they'll walk their dogs in the morning or they'll uh ride their bikes look at this hey. You know, as you're walking and talking with the camera, you always have to be mindful of who you're who you're pointing the camera at. I try to be I try to be a little bit discreet. Look at see they're they're launching right down here, so they're gonna launch, or maybe they're coming in. Actually, that's what I think they are. Uh, I think they're actually coming in. They floated. They floated down the Boise. You see, so you'll, there's buses, there's buses that'll take you. You park your your vehicle here, and then you get trucked up the up the river a few miles, and then you just kind of meander your way down the Boise. I haven't done it yet, but I will at some point in time. I'm sure I'll I'm sure I'll float the Boise. But you can see these folks here. Just coming out of the, just coming out of the water. Look at that kayak and little boat tubes and what have you. Fantastic. I don't see any balloons yet, but I'm sure they're, uh, I'm sure they're here somewhere. Look at this Boise River R and T. You can either probably have different scores that'll take you down the take you down the river. Look at that. There's somebody coming in with I think a a paddle board. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to give that a shot before the the season is through. Alright, somewhere out here we've gotta see some some balloons maybe they haven't uh, inflated them yet they're supposed to launch the balloons at 8 o'clock in the uh, in the twilight and they're supposed to be supposed to be illuminated while up here I can see they have all types of all types of vendors where you can shop till you drop so we'll uh, We'll go up and take a look. All right, so I, I let curiosity get the better of me, and I asked somebody, where are the balloons? And apparently, they haven't inflated them yet. So they will be uh, inflating them probably in the better part of about 20 or 30 minutes, I would imagine. But I'm just going to kind of walk through the crowd you know, you would, it's interesting when you look at the, the crowd here as I'm walking and talking, you know, as compared to a lot of other places in the, in the United States, you don't see the cultural diversity here that you would see in a lot of other areas. It's just predominantly, predominantly Caucasian, which is, uh, I think, a good representation of uh, of Idaho as a as a whole but uh, anyway so I need to find myself find myself something to eat and then find myself a nice spot to sit and see the sit and see the balloons go up big crowd here tonight look at this now I can see the off in the distance I can see trucks that are pulling in with trailers and they will have uh, and they will have the, the balloons in there that they're gonna start start blowing up. So if I can't work my way up to the front somewhere and find myself a good spot. Well as you can see I found the balloons. They're filling up at least a couple of them. Look at that. 
One for a Coca-Cola, the other one is a uh, balloon for a credit. You notice we're getting a little push on the side of the balloon from Cap Ed. A little breeze that you're feeling on the back of your neck has a gigantic effect on basically what is a round sail. Wonderful. Coca-Cola balloon, Real Magic, is just about to full inflate. These balloons are packed with cold air, as full as they can make them. And then the burner just simply heats the air that's in it. It's a pretty simple science project, but it's still amazing. These balloons are going to start throwing fire, and we're hopeful for weather that will allow us to just kiss the night with color here in Ann Morrison Park. All right. This should be nice to see. Cap it. All right. Unit. Will you look at that? Coming up. They call, All right. it, uh, they call it throwing fire. And you can see the coke balloon over there is got their flame going. So it looks like it'd be a nice evening. It's not always possible for them to launch the balloons, but uh, it looks like uh, looks like they should be able to tonight. As you see the cap bed. Look at that. There you go. And they're holding them with, with ropes. Boy, if they start blowing up all these balloons, they're really a nice sight to see. All right, so every year they have this they have this uh, opportunity for the parents to bring their kids out onto the lawn and dance. Look at this. Please take your time. We'll give you a few minutes to get across the barricade and get to the balloons. All the, all the parents are bringing their kids under the uh, under the barricade. And they're gonna go out and do some do some dancing. Look at that. to go out there myself. I'm a kid at heart. Look at this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in and share some of this with you.
out there.
mistake and that's probably why they haven't been filling up these balloons. I think there might be a possibility of storms in the vicinity which would prevent them from launching. But there is your POW MIA balloon. That they're filling up with air in memory of those that are not forgotten. Would have been nice to share the uh, the balloons with you, but that being said, all of the dancing was was a lot of fun. If you'll please help us give a special thank you to the 1,000 women and men of the Idaho National Guard 116th Cavalry Brigade Combat Team and to the Idaho Army National Guard for joining in our tribute tonight with that impressive UH-60 Black Hawk helicopter flyover. Thank you, Luke. Thank you, your crew. Thank you to everyone involved in our tribute this evening. Please stand by for the rest of the evening. Be safe. Keep an eye on everyone. And we'll get on to some more fun. Well, maybe they will have the balloons. We will see.